Anyway, 2021 is coming, and I was going through the whole year, the calendar with Belinda, who schedules everything in my life, right? Idol is coming up, the auditions are gonna happen again, and we're gonna start traveling. For the last time, stop begging me. The answer is no. <laughs> You're not gonna audition. I can't audition, I'm just too busy. <laughs> So we go through the updates and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a long call. And I sent, I type a text saying, thank you for the updates. And my autocorrect puts in the little space, thank you for the nudists. <laughs> and I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out when was the last time I thanked the nudists? Not that they don't deserve being thanked. <laughs> and when have I ever typed the word nudist? Then it dawned on me. You're the one that sends me texts with nudists in the sentence talking about the park. So my autocorrect because is taking I'm your words. Because I'm sick and tired of the wrong people being nude all the time. Right. But the autocorrect's taking your text, which is dangerous, and putting them into my outgoing text, corrects. Which is a whole other How level. dare you, sir? How dare you? You've autocorrected yourself to me a thousand times. <laughs> which, by the way, Mark now texts me. Remember when you texted me something and it auto-corrected? Mm -mm. <clears throat> Call when dot, dot, dot. Yes, I do. Mark now texts that to me every <laughs> we, single that day. That one we can't say. Every single day, Mark texts to me. Call when dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word, you but it's a it. great word. It's an underutilized word, certainly on this show. <laughs> But well, Mark texts that to me That every word day. clearly came from a text that you sent me. My autocorrect has stored that, and now it fires it back off. It spits it back out. My uh, autocorrect doesn't work anymore because if it actually started... Because there was a time in the old, you know, I don't know if it was the iPhone, four or five or six, where if you used a word frequently enough, then your phone would pick up on it and just right away assume that that's the word you were trying to use. It doesn't do that anymore. Now my phone is trying to make me a better person and I am sick of it. <laughs> I mean to use that word. You don't need to correct you me. You can switch that in the settings to, to you know, to who, something else. Who says ducking? Nobody. <laughs> Unless they're ducking under something, but I never <laughs> use that word. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Um, here are some... I, I, I found some uh, of our viewers that have these texts that were um, misconstrued. And if you have any autocorrect embarrassments, please send us those in. We'd be happy to read those if we can on the air later. Um, so this is one saying, uh, saying she doesn't feel good and she can't breathe through her nose either. The reply, give her some vodka or Sudafed. I hope she doesn't miss her concert tomorrow. Mmm, LOL. I mean, Vix, LOL. <laughs> but wait, it gets, it gets better. God, Lily, and this is sorry, I, I, I'm sorry for your loss, but God, Lily, my mom just died. OMG, that's terrific. <laughs> I meant terrible. <laughs> I meant terrible, terrible, terrible in all caps. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Lily, we're sorry. Uh, so... Yeah, please send us. I, I almost, is there I, more? Is well, there there's more? more but I could I, do it I, I all day long. I haven't proofread them. I just licked my keys in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, send, us, send us yours. I almost want to pull up your, our text chains to read them, but that would probably we be a bad so idea. We have so many, but they're so horrible. Uh, but my phone keeps trying to make me a better person, like I said. So I'm not as horrible in text as I actually am. <laughs> so I'd just like to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> we asked for you, you sent it, all of your autocorrects. Here's Hillary Chaffee from McBain, Michigan. I tried texting my mom. I ran out of time to make caramel corn, but it said I ran out of time to make salmon porn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be a theme, Kelly. Don't knock it till you watch it. <laughs> Tina in Newport, Pennsylvania says, at the store at the checkout counter, buying corn on the cob. I got a text from my husband. Quote, we have porn in the basement. <laughs> I don't know how... Hey, who doesn't? <laughs> Robin from San Francisco, California. I once said, I'm totally... I once said, I'm totally psycho when I was trying to respond. I'm totally psyched. <laughs> uh, Mark L. in Maryland, after texting a friend for dinner who asked, what can I bring? I told him to pick up prosciutto. He answered, okay, I'll see you at six and I'll bring the prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Jennifer S. from Oakwood, Ohio says, my new boyfriend sent me a text, I like you hugs, but it was changed to, I like your jugs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not just us dealing with the autocorrect nightmares. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Real quick, before we uh, say anything else, there's a text. Me, can you talk? Boss, yes, call me before noon. Me, I'll call you for sex. Boss, three, ex three question marks. Me, I'll call you for sex. <laughs> me, I'll call you in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>